Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Lex. If this is your first time seeing my face, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. So yes, I'm pretty sure you guys know what this video is going to be about just by looking at the title. And yes, we're talking about postpartum depression at 25. Um, I just want to share with my share with you guys my journey and how I'm coping with it um because it did come back i feel like it was gone but it came back unfortunately but i just want to tell you guys a little bit about my experience and how i'm dealing with it and how i what i use what kind of um tips or advice i use to kind of cope with it when i first had it at 23 when i when i first became a mom um well first of all first and foremost i want to say i was completely honest about my feelings um, I told literally everybody about how I felt. And, um, yeah, like I said, I was reaching out to coworkers, um, old managers, pretty much any, any woman that had a kid that I've, I've crossed paths with, I reached out to because I really felt like I was alone. Like I'm the first person out of my friend group to have a kid. So nobody really understood my feelings and where I was coming from. Um, I kind of, I told one of my friends, it's kind of like looking, I was kind of like looking at myself in the casket. Like I was looking at the old me. Um, just, she just, I feel like she just died. You know what I'm saying? So like, I felt like I would never, I felt like my life was over. I would never have any more fun, you know, cause I was young, you know, young living my best life out and about. Cause like literally if I want to do something, I was up and out period. So I feel like that was over for me because I had this little precious human that I had to deal with every day and I had to really take care of. And that was really my responsibility because like I said, I was, I was up and out and like, I will watch my, my nephew. I only had a, it was only a one baby in the family at the time. So I would watch my nephew and I would just think that he was just so cute and you know, but I was able to give him back at the end of the night. So I'm just like, dang, this baby crying and she needs me. I can't give her back because I am the mom. You know what I'm saying? So um, I will really, 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 really reach out to women. And I, use, I even downloaded this app called Peanut and I will have posts on there like, look, I'm, I'm post, I'm, I, I had a baby three days ago and I, I'm feeling all of these feelings. Like the women on there were phenomenal. They reached out to me um offering their support letting me know that it'll be okay it'll get better i think one thing that i did not like that people would tell me is it's gonna get better with time and you know i wasn't trying to hear that stuff you know i wanted things to get better now and honestly they did they did get better um because i would i would want to say about she was about six months and i felt like my postpartum was gone I felt like it was gone and it, and it was gone at that time because I ex fully accepted my role as a mom and I, fu I fully understood what it meant for me to be a mom and I fully understood that my life was not over. I could still travel. I could still have fun with my friends um, and still be a mom, you know? So I felt like the majority of my postpartum stemmed from missing my old life, you know, and missing things that I used to be able to indulge in that I really couldn't anymore because I was even breastfeeding. You know, you can't really, you can't drink alcohol while you're breastfeeding. And I, you know, I would go out now, I would have fun. I would have a party, you know? And I want to say another thing that helped me was Google. I would Google things like being a mom at 23 and I would see all these articles that would be like, why being a mom in your 20s is beneficial and those little articles will make me feel just a little bit better um just knowing that i'll be an empty nester at in my 40s which i wouldn't mind my daughter staying with me for however long she needed to but um <laughs> yeah just even youtube um i just also i actually felt bad because i was like dang like i would i would just really 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 try to get back to my old self and how life was before, but I know that was kind of like not possible. Um, and I'm rambling a little bit. I'm supposed to be giving you guys tips, but I don't know. I'm just being honest with you guys. I'm just being open and honest with you guys. So I don't know, take it or leave it. <laughs> take it or receive it. No, I'm just playing. Um, but dealing with postpartum depression, I kind of feel like it's not talked about enough. 
um because i literally felt like i was drowning in depression there was days that i was just lay in bed and just not shower not talk not do nothing um me and her dad was bumping heads like no other like it was just terrible you know and i would literally try to find ways to make myself feel okay i just want to feel okay i just want to feel happy um even now like it I feel like my postpartum has creeped back because I'm in the toddler stage and she's in her terrible two stage. So it's just like, mommy, mommy, I want what I want now. You know, if I don't get it, I'm a, I'm a meltdown, you know, but it's just like hard, you know, like, cause I work from home and I watch my daughter. My daughter doesn't go to daycare. So literally I am stuck. I don't want to say stuck, but I have to deal with the, the meltdowns. I have to deal with the poops and the the the, pee, the urine. All that. I have to deal with all of that. So like I kind of felt like my postpartum starting started to kind of like creep back um, up on me. Actually, it did creep back up on me because some days like I would just sit here um, and not you know just not even leave the house, and that's totally not me, you know. So I just want to say um, I, I'm re reiterating the t like the things that I would do two years ago, and I'm reiterating them now. Like just just getting up fixing my hair putting on the jewelry you know just just doing things that i used to do and then I, that makes me happy i feel like that's the goal like anything that make you happy do it i honestly didn't want to go on any kind of antidepressants because addiction runs in my family and i didn't want to be dependent on any kind of medication because to me and i'm saying speaking for me um and i'm doing what's best for me that's my disclaimer i'm doing what's best for me I'm not judging anybody that, that that's on antidepressants. If that makes you feel 100% for yourself and your baby and your family, absolutely do it. But I'm just saying for me, I couldn't, I didn't want to deal with antidepressants because I didn't want to feel dependent on it. I didn't want to become addicted to it. So I would be scared to tell my doctor like, yes, I'm going through postpartum depression. I told her that I was a little bit, but I, would be, that I was okay, but I totally was not okay. Cause I didn't want them to, cause they take it very ser seriously um medically so i didn't want them to feel like i wanted to harm myself i didn't want to harm my baby i didn't want them to try to put me on any antidepressants because i didn't want to be dependent on any kind of medication i feel like that's that would be even more harder for me um to to take a medication and not be dependent on it and if i don't have it anymore then like what i'm gonna do so i didn't do that but um i just really did my research i i looked on youtube um and I just like just just looking at other women deal with the feelings that I've dealt with because I really literally felt alone, you know. And sometimes I still do feel alone, but like I said, I still tap into what made me feel better um, two years ago, and I apply it to myself now. So um, I just want to say, like postpartum, I feel like it needs to be discussed a lot more um, on social medias and things like that. Um, because I feel like that community of women, I feel like I've I've read a lot of po a lot of threads on that app I mentioned earlier called Peanut. I I've seen a lot of people saying that how alone they felt and how they felt like they had nobody to talk to and and I feel like that's really that's a really sad place because if you think about it, giving birth is very traumatic for you and your baby and your and your child's father. I mean things change a lot of things change some women aren't happy with their bodies um your body changes your mind changes everything changes and it's like how do i deal with that um uh and it i just feel like it needs to be discussed more and i feel like i want to be that person that if anybody doesn't have nobody you have me because i literally felt like i had nobody to turn to nobody to talk to but google yeah so my uh phone kind of like died so yeah we're back but like i said i want to be that support person for anybody who needs it because i literally felt everything that you're currently feeling still to this day um it's just not as bad as it was when i was 23 um so i'm gonna go ahead and leave my email down below um for you guys for you ladies even fellas if you if you need some advice on how to help your um your spouse your girlfriend your lady your sister deal with postpartum depression please hit me up if you need to scream ah I can't take it no more go ahead and email me because i'm telling you having somebody that's willing to listen to you willing to give you solid advice is very 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 important you need to have a 
a, a, a support system, someone that really, really, really cares for real. Not somebody that's just going to be like, uh -huh, yeah. no, somebody that really, really cares and someone that kind of like been through it and still going through it. That can give you some kind of tips. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave my email down below. Even if you're not dealing with the postpartum depression, if you need somebody to talk to, I feel like it's very important to have someone to talk to if you feel like you're alone, if you feel like you don't have nobody. Um, because I've been there many, 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 many times. So without further ado, my little boos. No, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this video out here. Um... I'm definitely open for more postpartum discussions because um, although I'm into hygiene and stuff like that, um, <laughs> my daughter, <laughs> she's ugly to hush. Um, although I am into hygiene and stuff like that, I'm also very much into mental health. And I take that very, very, very seriously. So yeah, go ahead and hit up my email. I will reply, I do respond. Um, and I hope you ladies and gents take care and make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.